about weld symbols. So in this drawing right here, I've got a single weld symbol. I'm just going to show you how to do it. So to do that, I'll use a different drawing so I can just chat about some of the different kinds of weld symbols that are out there. So this is a block, well, actually three blocks. It's set up, so two of them are pushed up against each other with a butt joint, and another one has a T joint. So the way weld symbols work is that anything below this arrow right here is known as the arrow side. So that indicates this triangle right here indicates a fillet weld right here on the right side of this T joint. This symbol up here indicates other side. So anything above the symbol indicates that the weld occurs over here on the left side of the T joint. So down here, this is a, a butt joint or a, sorry, a V joint, V groove. Uh, the weld symbols kind of look like what they're supposed to be. So this little triangle looks like a you know fillet joint. This looks like a V, right? So V joint. What this means is that the welder will bevel these two parts and then put the weld in between them. On drawings, we never draw out what the weld prep is supposed to look like or actually weld beads for that matter. We just use the symbols. It just makes drawings easier to read. So what this one right here means is we've got a V groove. This one on the bottom right here below the symbol still means arrow side. This one on the top means other side of the joint. So to insert a weld symbol, I'll show you how real quick. I'm just going to delete this. As you could guess, it's right here under weld symbol. So you just click this and there's a whole lot going on here. So you can weld symbols can get really complicated, but they're not for us. So say we want to put a V groove on the arrow side. So right here on the bottom of this part, we'll choose the weld symbol on the bottom of this notional uh, welding symbol arrow. And then I'm just gonna look around, it'll light up and let you know what's what. So this is our V groove, click, and it'll show you out here what you're gonna place, right? So as I add things, it'll continue to kind of show you what's going on. So back here, this is a place for notes about the weld. So you can put things like typical or what kind of weld you want. If you need a weld to go all around, this little button right here works just like a profile. Okay, so it doesn't apply here, so I'm not gonna use it. And this isn't a welding symbol class. I just wanna show you how to put some basic one in. So I'm just gonna click right out here and hit okay. And it drops that weld symbol and then I can go ahead and point it to right there, okay? If I wanted to go back in and add that other V to this, I just double click it and I can add another V symbol to it, right? So you can always change the weld symbols after they're put down. The only downside is it doesn't show you what symbol you have in this dialog. You have to look out here for your weld symbol. So to get rid of a weld symbol, you just click it, right? So I've got fill it. To get rid of fillet, I just click it again and it goes away, okay? So to show you what we're gonna be doing on the drawing this week, I'll go ahead and op open it up. So you're gonna be putting a plug weld right here where this pen meets this plate. So plug welds are a little weird. You're just gonna point the arrow to the intersection of the center line and the part surface right there. Everything else should be pretty straightforward, so I'll just click on it. Remember, it's gonna be arrow side, so the right side of the part. The weld symbol is right here, plug or slot. And in this note, you're just gonna put three places, C, note, two. So what that means is it's gonna redirect you over here to notes, note two, joint may be braided, soldered, or welded, okay? So that's all I have to say about weld symbols. That should get you through the assignment for the, this uh, module.